<clears throat> All right, this is fourth grade, module four, lesson 14. And we're just going to be practicing all the information about the classification of triangles that we've been learning. And we're going to kind of put them all together and uh, throw in some review of symmetry as well. So in this slide, we're told, okay, draw triangles that fit the following classification, then use ruler and protractor. So we've got to make it all, you know, as precise as we can. And then we're going to label the side lengths and angles. So I have this protractor to help us do that. And I'm going to use the grid paper here to kind of help us with the lengths in, in, in place of using an actual ruler. I'm going to use my grid paper. Now, it says first we're supposed to draw a right triangle that is also isosceles. So it's right and isosceles. So the right angle means it's talking about the angle that there's got to be uh, a right angle in our triangle. So I'm going to start it off right here. So there it is. It's got to start with a right angle. And now I have to remember, what does isosceles mean? Well, isosceles means, oh, by the way, since I'm using grid paper, I don't actually need to use my ruler or my protractor to measure a 90 degree angle, but at least I can see. Look at that. There it is, a 90 degree angle. Uh, so I'm going to put that protractor away for a second. And uh, isosceles triangle means two of the three side lengths have to be the same length. They have to match. And then the third angle can be, I mean, the third side length is the oddball out. So when I'm drawing a, a right triangle, so I'm going to say, okay, let's do, I don't know, what is this, six little units one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to make this go six units up, and I'm going to make this go six units side to side. So now I know that these two side lengths are identical, and then I'm going to use my straight edge and go here, and that guy is the oddball out, and here's our 90 degree angle. So I just drew a triangle that is a right triangle, because there it is, and it's isosceles because here are the two matching lengths. Now, is this the only answer that's possible? Oh, no way. There's uh, an infinite number of answers that could have worked, uh, but in general, they're all going to look kind of the same. They're all going to be, you're going to have a right angle, you're going to have two sides that match, and then you're going to have an oddball side right here, and of course there's my little right angle right here. So you're going to have an infinite number of answers, but here's just a couple of them. So in this one, we need to draw an acute triangle and a scalene. So it's got to be acute and scalene. So let's review what this means. Acute means all three angles have to be less than 90 degrees. We cannot have any right angles and we cannot have any obtuse angles. So all three angles have to be acute. And then scalene means that all three sides have to be different from one another. So I can draw, oh boy, I don't know what to do. Let's see if we can draw, there's one side length. And oh, let's see if we could do, I don't know, uh, this Boy, that's not very straight, is it? And then let's go here. So there we go. Let's see. This angle, definitely acute. This angle, definitely acute. Now this angle, the way I drew it, it's kind of looking like it might be a 90 degree angle. So let's see if we can figure that out. Uh, so I'm going to take my protractor, and I'm going to stick it here, and I'm going to say, uh-oh, that actually looks like it's bigger than 90 degrees. Rats! Oh, so that's no good. So th that's definitely not an acute angle. In fact, I drew an obtuse angle. So that's no good. So let's see if I can erase it. Will it let me erase? Let's see. Oh, yes, it did. All right. So let's try again. Oh boy, um, acute and scalene. 
Yikes. Uh, let's see. Here. Oh, let's do... Oh, I know. How about this? There. Oh, that's looking good. Ooh, that's looking good. Let's see. That definitely looks acute. That definitely looks acute. And, you know, to me, that looks acute. So, but let's just check, just to, just to be sure. So I'm going to line up the target on the vertex. I'm going to line up zero. And I can see, okay, so the, here's my, uh, oh, wait, wait. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to line this up like this. There we go. And I can see that, uh, yep, here's lined up with zero, and I can see there's 90, so this is definitely an acute angle. And so I've got three acute angles, so I've satisfied this part. Now, scaling um, means that these three side lengths have to all be different. Now, I can see that, uh, let's see, this, this length right here is little units, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten uh, units uh, this way. Now this is pro is definitely uh, different than ten. It's less than ten. Uh, one, two, I don't know, it's definitely less than ten. Actually, you know what we can do? We can draw a ten unit length. There's ten units right there. And now I can grab that. So now I can grab it and I can say, oh, okay, there, there it is. Ooh, oh no, look at that. That looks pretty much identical. So I take this, there's my 10 units and I go up here and I'm like, oh no, it's pretty identical. That's 10. So I did not draw a scalene triangle. What did I draw? I drew uh, a Sosceles triangle because this guy and this guy were the same length. Oh, rats! So how am I going to fix that? Well, let's see. I think I'm going to have to uh, delete and delete, and we're going to try again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, let's see. Uh, acute and scaling. So let's see. Well, I know... Is that it? Ah, that kind of looks like it's not scaling. It looks like all three sides are the exact same length. Oh, this is a blast. This is I'm having fun trying to figure this out. Oh, this is great. Woohoo! All right. Oh, let's do one last one. Uh there, there, there. All right, I think I did it. I think I did it. Okay, so. We could definitely see that these are acute. This one, I'm gonna, th I think it's gonna be stinker. It's bigger than a 90 degree angle. It is possible, folks. This is possible. So here's what I'm gonna let you do. Well, wait, wait, no, yeah. This is what I'm gonna let you do. I want you to just figure it out on your own because I know you can do it. I know it's possible. All right, through the wonders of editing and technology, I have uh, just kept drawing. I kept trying until I finally found something. And here you go. I finally nailed it. So you can see I've got the acute because all three angles definitely are less than 90 degrees. I have the scaling because all three sides are definitely different from one another. And I, uh, whew, Tons of work, but I finally, finally did it. So there is our triangle that is acute and scaling. Now, parents and teachers, what's the point of this lesson? Is, is the point really for a student to draw an acute and scaling triangle? No. The point of this lesson and this activity here, one, de clearly develop persistence like I had to. And then the other one is to constantly review in their mind what is an acute angle triangle? What is an, a scaling triangle? Just to constantly review and practice putting these things in context as they try and build something. That's the real point of this problem. Let's finally move on. So here, 
Fortunately, all we have to do is answer true or false because the drawing, thankfully, has already been provided for us. So it says triangle ABC, and that's this guy right here, is an isosceles triangle. So that's the given part. That's not the true or false part. That's the given. That's non-negotiable. We are told that this guy is isosceles. Now the statement is line segment AB must be two centimeters right here. Is that a true statement or is that a false statement? Well, if the triangle is isosceles, and we are told that it is an isosceles triangle, that means it has to have two equal side lengths. Well, if two of the side lengths have to be equal, and we're being told that this guy is two, and this guy is two, well, there's our two equal side lengths. So that means these guys are equal, and this guy is the oddball. And that makes this a true statement. It is an isosceles triangle, and AB, uh, line segment AB, must be 2 centimeters. The last slide for this video it says triangle XYZ can be described as both equilateral and acute. True or false? Well, what's equilateral? Equilateral means three equal lengths. And what's acute means all angles are acute. Well, let's see. Do we have three equal lengths? These dashes say the answer is yes. So we're going to say yes. And then all angles are acute. Is that a true statement? Well, if we look over here, all of these angles, angles definitely appear to be acute. So I'm going to just do that. In fact, we kind of know that they're all equal to each other since all three side lengths are equal. So I'm going to say yes. And so what does that mean? It means this is a true statement. Yes, it can be described as both equilateral and acute. And therein lies the fun of this video, which was grade 4, module 4, lesson 14, where we are constructing angles and reviewing all the the different names for triangles and practicing a little bit of symmetry as we go.